Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. We were all mistaken about Ripple and XRP. The public is being kept in the dark about anything nefarious going on behind the scenes. Okay? And today, we're going to bring it all out into the open. However, a chain reaction of linking must occur first. Please hear me out and give this your whole attention. There is a multi-year Bitcoin bull market beginning right now, according to Justin, CEO of Bitwise, the largest crypto index fund manager in the world. Now, institutions, companies, governments, and countries of all shapes and sizes are coming out of the woodwork to talk about how we're in bull market territory and should get ready for the pump. The unbelievable boost, fellas. Right. In addition, people's confidence is sky high right now. But look at this. Another one has just walked in. Just in Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets have officially entered bull territory, as founder of Morgan Creek Capital Mark Utso just asserted, right? That's right, instead of seeing two, we're actually witnessing three. Why? Because so many financial institutions are now registering exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and Bitcoin spot ETFs. Guys right. You see why this is so strange now, right? For the simple reason that Mark Jackson started Morgan Creek Digital. Mark is a fascinating character in the Eastgate setting. Wow. You guys can stop and have a look at all these firms since they invested in them. And then, among other things, there are PPJT partners. Guys, you know that PJ was owned by Hinman as an investment. That's how it seems. These guys must realize that the price of Bitcoin is set to skyrocket, right? The reason is that from the very beginning, they have complete control of Ethereum, right guys? They bolstered Ethereum like it was the last day on Earth. If they were aware of Ethereum pumping, they should be as well versed in Bitcoin. Keep in mind that Bitcoin is also supported in this way. Keep in mind guys. Some stable coins and other cryptocurrencies really deserve it. But look at this. Wow, this stuff is fascinating. And in the next tweet, we'll see how all of this relates to Ripple. After an unexpected about face, the IMF now joins Wall Street in driving a $200 billion surge in the value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies. Right. It would appear that all of them are becoming relevant. Here, have a look. Despite the IMF's enthusiasm for cryptocurrencies, a recent blog post addresses issues related to digital currencies issued by central banks, their acceptance, and crypto regulation. Right? What do they actually say? Combining CBDCs with cryptocurrency laws? Hmm. Just wait and see how we end up on the winning side of history. Here, have a look. Westpac, one of Australia's largest banks, has just instituted a $667 cap on cash withdrawals. Right, so it seems to have started already. It looks like things are getting terrible already, people, right? 660, I think you mean 613. Apple tweeted XRP for the first time in 913. In addition, the bank is capping debit card purchases at a certain level. That sum will always be $8,080 daily. Right. In all candor, why didn't you just make a 666? But the 13 is always included, so that's why. It would appear that preparations have already begun. Since the IMF plans to regulate everything to oblivion, they are officially endorsing CBDCS and crypto restrictions. They intend to rule everything. That's why CBDCS and rules will kick in at the same time, during and after the crash. That's why I said Ripple isn't exactly what it seems to be. At the outset of history, technology may be apolitical, but that could change depending on who owns the means of production. That technical apparatus. Private ledger technology is at the heart of the Ripple CBDC platform, which also facilitates interinstitutional settlements and distribution operations, as well as secure and user wallets for issuers. Right? In a moment or two, we'll be checking out Digital Pound Foundation to learn more about its features. Why, I've wondered from the dawn of time, 
Is it that Ripple is the first phenomenon to ever fully stretch the limits of the CBDCS? Oh, you don't want to hear that, do you? If you can't beat them, join them, so the reasoning goes. This is the final one, guys. I really think this is it, guys, the upswing is right around the corner. What I mean is, we're practically on a bull run right now. For a very long time, this run of good fortune will be the peak of human experience. We might as well take advantage of this while we can, since after the collapse everything is going to gently start moving back up, guys. Right. Because by then, it's likely that XRP will have already activated the feature. Guys. Right. The stock market has been stagnant for some time. Even cryptocurrency is making progress. Right? While there are certainly individual equities that defy the rule, cryptocurrency as a whole is extremely volatile and is only expected to become more so like the stock market in the future. Why? Since so many organizations are now involved. This flood of cash must be used to fund a massive gambling operation, right? Let's deliberate on this. So. Some of the largest organizations in the world are collaborating with Ripple. The value of XRP is drastically low. Sure enough, dudes. Right. How peculiar. The widespread enthusiasm for XRP and Ripple seems suspicious, albeit not necessarily strange. Perhaps it would be beneficial to examine the issue from all angles. From a new perspective. This image from the Digital Pound Foundation would link to the one from Howard Moon. Right. But look at this. To paraphrase. But look at this. Everyone must use CBDC, quote end quote. This official serves as the International Monetary Fund's leader. This is too unbelievable to be true. We were able to decipher it right away. That CBDCS could not be fragmented national propositions to have transactions that are more efficient and fairer if we were to be successful. We require global interconnection systems. That is to say, we require interoperability. For this reason, we at the IMF are developing plans for a worldwide CBDC trading and risk management platform. Tobias Adrian, one of my co-workers, will elaborate on this in a little. That. Adrian, we are familiar with that name. You got that right, fellas. The rumor is true, he had a conversation with David Schwartz. We aren't making this up, either. Take a look at the chat right now. This is why we say that they are all allies in the background, a band of rebels looking out for one another. The surplus will be put to good use. Okay, then. The XRP ledger will be the central hub for all transactions. Guys, have a look at this. Alas, I refuse to genuflect since I am a proud American citizen. Right. But hear me out. At this point, I intend to publicly shame everyone. Their answer will be worshipped by all. Why? I'll clarify. Nobody would buy CBDCS if they were released now. To the contrary, everyone will ride a motorbike in protest. And, of course, there will be a variety of ums. I take it there's mayhem on the streets now? Because of this, they'll start by creating an issue. Then. The next step is for them to cause you as much pain as possible until you beg to be released. That's why. As the answer. They will eventually unleash it on the populace. That's why everybody will genuflect before you. It's possible that the male population will decrease by 1% or even less. Right. That is aware of the fact that even though it could, it yet won't. But they have to because otherwise they'll be expelled from the program. Right. In this brave new digital world, how will they conduct business and similar matters? In other words, by that time, it will be mandatory for everyone. Right. XRP will be important, and we all know it. This is the simplest thing I've ever done. Um. Boom. Verify that Kotak Bank will indeed be utilizing Ripple XRP for CBDC. Are you blind? The blasted pudding is where the proof is. 
In 2018, Kotec joined forces with Ripple, and only lately, they launched the Digital Rupee Pilot. You may see the evidence on Ripple's and Kotec Bank's respective websites. This is too crazy to be true, guys. India Financial Hub money in the form of bits and bytes again. We warned you that Ripple would revolutionize the financial world. Not at all. It will work well with it, right? Since something new has been implemented, it will ultimately alter the situation. Right. It's a breeze nowadays. Kotec Bank must expedite international wire transfers using RippleNet. They must have said Ripple a dozen times. Contagious Net the settlement method utilizing Ripple. There was a ripple in the net. It ripples, it ripples, it ripples, it ripples, it ripples. Why? Like a frog, I suppose. Increased ripple. Increased ripple. Learn about India's Kotak Bank directly from the source. The male gender tends to ripple. That's what I'm saying. Right. Holy crap. Ripple is referring to financial institutions. Guys, they are not referring to that specific business. Exactly like every other. It always amuses me how the price of XRP skyrockets whenever Ripple announces some major development. The value of XRP actually drops. Right. Decoupled. Um. Perhaps they did that on purpose. Upon further reflection. Right. So, according to the SEC, it's not a security. However, hold on there. It's intriguing because, if true, Ethereum would constitute 1000% of the security, nevertheless, Hinman's claim that Ethereum is not a security was, at best, a matter of opinion. What do you think occurred to the price of Ethereum following the pump? It's safe to say that Ethereum is a security. Although XRP is not. Once again, XRP will be approved. Ripple is collaborating with financial institutions. What I mean to say is. Right? If any other cryptocurrency released such information, its value would skyrocket by at least a factor of 10, and probably by a factor of 50 or 100 in bull markets. Right. Again. So, here it is. So. You'll be able to test the Rupee Wall's functionality and see how it compares to a real one straight on your Android or iOS mobile. You're looking at the pictures right now, men. Right? This is completely insane. Even though that happened to me quite some time ago. You do realize that it is still gold, right? CBDCS and stable coins can now be created on Ripple's new platform. Right. You guys are going to be tied to the wall for a while. What happens, happens. This time, you get to. This is why I recommended you all get wealthy. Because at that point, you would be able to live completely independently of civilization if you so choose. Right. Guys, if you really wanted to do that, you'd be financially and morally free to do it right then. You guys know that you'll never be enslaved, right? You will never be enslaved. Keep in mind that the entire service platform allows users to generate, manage, transact, and redeem CBDCS and stable coins with over 90% of countries actively exploring. Right. Despite the impending arrival of all these CBDCS, Ripple has announced the Ripple CBDC platform, a frictionless end-to-end -end solution for monetary authorities. They're talking about the major actors, the ones the puppet masters have the most influence over. This is why I believe the XRP must be trading at a premium right now. Everyone to create their own CBDC using the same distributed ledger technology as XRP. Users will be able to streamline the entire process of buying and selling digital money issued by a central bank in exchange for fiat currency on the improved platform. Quote, the platform's novel features will facilitate the settlement of domestic and international payments, lessen the potential for fraud, and enhance the convenience with which users can send and receive digital money. And just towards the end, how wonderfully the Ripple has constructed everything for the governments. Guys, the financial establishments. Right. 
As part of our mission to pioneer cutting-edge financial technology, we have partnered with Ripple to develop a national digital currency. Original to Palau. We later expanded our capabilities to accommodate a wider range of applications, including as the issuance of stablecoins for usage in retail and wholesale CBDCs on a private blockchain. To its clients, the CBDC platform provides a blockchain, a blockchain, a blockchain technology, an issuer operator, and user wallets. Gentlemen, take your time reading this material. Good to go. Again, it's green that story will absolutely kill Bitcoin, but they'll bring it back because they'll alter the code and make it work again, right? With the confidence of multiple national banks as a reliable business partner. The VP of Central Banks Management and CBDCs at Ripple Glass or at Ripple Rights, we believe this platform will help solve problems for many banks and governments who are devising plans and developing developing a technology strategy for CBDC implementations. So, guys, it's not hard to see. We are aware of the strategy. In the end, that is all there is. We've spoken everything we needed to at this point. Right. Do not take this as financial guidance. In the conclusion, let's be ready, since it appears that Ripple is, without a doubt, the best crypto corporation available. Not monetary advice, and not monetary counsel. But in any case, fellas, please like and subscribe my channel. See you later. Bye.